One thing I wanted to mention um, before we actually put this power supply in there is that um, there was a little box stuck way back here in this corner. It was really hard to get out. I don't know how they got it in there actually. Um, but after, I, I was looking for the screws that came with it and it was stuck in a box way back here. After I pulled it out, it's got a one bag full of thumb screws here. And it's got another little uh, bag full of some hard drive screws and some standoffs that we'll be putting in here when we install the motherboard. Another thing I wanted to show you before we get too much uh, material in here are some of these cables and to describe to you what these things are. Um, this comes with one, two, three, four fans and each fan has a little control for low, medium, or high there, a little switch for low, medium, or high. And also each fan is going to have a little power cord. And these power cords we're going to hook into the motherboard um, whenever we get it in there. So here's one power cord with a control switch, another power cord with a control switch, and then these two fans that are in the front each have their own power cords and control switches back up in here. Now these other cords are for the power switch that is located up front here and the reset button, the power LED that tells us that the computer's on, um, hard, drive, hard drive LEDs that flash whenever the hard drives are, are working, and this is a USB connector for these front mounted USB ports right up here on the front. So here's the power button, reset switch. I would assume one of these is the reset switch. Maybe it doesn't, maybe it's just a power button. Uh, and the headphone cables are also among these little connectors that are right in here. So now let me see if I can get this um, power supply in here and screwed in. It'll take but a second. I can get it in there straight. There we go. So that snapped in there nice and flush. These four screws came with the power supply and all we need to do is screw those in. So this is one of the easier parts of the process. Now don't be shocked if I make some mistakes along the way. Uh, the last time I built a computer from scratch has been about six years ago, so things have probably changed some, so I'm anticipating making some mistakes, so don't, don't laugh at me too hard when I do. Okay, so there's the power supply in, and we'll just hook the power cord in there. This also has a switch to turn the power to the computer on and off. And here are the cables that we looked at before.